Hey everyone! Today we're taking a look at the Patio Dock from Island Hopper, an inflatable floating patio that's a perfect accessory for your boat, lake, pond, or bringing with you in the car or RV to anywhere there's water. The Patio Dock is a 15 foot long by 6 foot wide floating island that can hold 2,000 pounds or around 10 people and can be used for sunbathing, swim play, and even docking and attaching your kayaks or paddle boards. There's also less upkeep than a regular dock, so you can avoid having to sand, stain, or worry about splinters. When the patio dock gets dirty, you can easily clean it with soapy water, a sponge, and a hose. Island Hopper sent us their patio dock so we could put them to the test. Keep in mind we are not paid to make this review, but we do make a small commission if you end up buying one. So, if you found this review helpful and want to support our channel, check out the links in the description below. All right, taking a look at what comes inside the box. The patio dock ships in a big box and includes the dock, along with a 15 PSI auto set electric inflator and a double action hand pump. They also include tow straps, repair patches, and the instruction manual. Setting up and inflating the patio dock is quick and easy. Using the included electric inflator, you can plug it into your car or boat's 12 volt accessory outlet, allowing you to inflate the dock anywhere you have a car. The cord for the inflator is also very long, giving you extra distance to inflate the dock further away. The electric inflator has an adjustable pressure setting, so all you need to do is set the pressure to 10 PSI, hook the tube to the dock, and start inflating. The pump will automatically stop once it hits the set pressure. The patio dock takes about 20 to 30 minutes to fill up using the auto set electric inflator. Island Hopper also sells a magic inflator separately, which is even more powerful and can be plugged into a regular wall outlet. We found using the Magic Inflator to do the initial fill and then topping it off with the Auto Set Inflator is the quickest way to inflate the dock in just 15 minutes. Looking at the build and quality of the patio dock, it's made of drop stitch PVC with heat welded seams. Island Hopper guarantees the dock is durable with their 5 year no seam blowout limited warranty. The company has been around for 30 years and is best known for their other products such as the big yellow banana boat that's pulled behind boats, along with their water trampolines that they have been making for decades. The top part of the dock looks like wood, but it is actually foam that's non-slip and has a lot of grip. In terms of stability, the patio dock is stable enough to stand on and walk around. However, it does move and shift a little bit. That is easy to overcome by adding anchors or securing it to a boat. The dock also features 11 side welded stainless D-rings and 6 carry handles on all sides so you can easily carry it, even with just two people. There's also 24 top and bottom welded web loops for running rope through so you can secure it to your boat or attach accessories to the dock. The patio dock makes a perfect addition to a pontoon boat. It can easily be attached along with the side of your pontoon boat so you can load it up and bring it out to your destination. Once there, you can drop the dock down so that you have an extra platform right on the water. It makes a great area for sitting or hanging out, while the kids love it since it's easy for them to get on and also jump off into the water. Another feature we love about the patio dock is being able to use it as a raft, so you can paddle out and move to different locations. This is useful if you want to keep your dock in the sun as it shifts during the day. Once you're done with the dock, you can easily pull it up onto the shore and cover it up with a tarp for a short term. Or, if you want to store it away or transport it, you can quickly deflate it and roll it up. When rolled up, the dock gets down to 3.5 feet by 2 feet and weighs 68 pounds. It can be carried by one or two adults and easily fits into the trunk of a car. For the price, the patio dock comes in at $1,400, which might seem a little expensive for an inflatable dock. But that comes with free shipping in the US, with all the accessories including the inflator that's worth $130 separately. It's an investment that will provide you lots of fun out on the boat or lake for many years. While an inflatable paddleboard can cost $700 to $800, the patio dock is made of the same material and can be used all day by the entire family and your friends. Overall, we think the patio dock is a great accessory for a boat, lake, pond, or even bringing with you to a summer house or campground for a weekend. All right, that's it for now. Next, be sure to watch our other reviews for other gadgets for your lake or pond.